In 1986, the recreational catch of red snapper in Alabama was zero, and artificial reefs were unheard of. Since then, Alabama created the largest permitted artificial reef zone in the world. And today, 42% of all recreational snapper caught in the Gulf of Mexico are caught off Alabama's 30-mile coastline. All this due to artificial reefs. We run a marina that's a charter boat marina. And part of being a, a charter boat and part of being here for many years, you had to build a minimum amount of reefs to build the habitat so we have a fishery so we can fish. Our part of the Gulf of Mexico is predominantly sand and mud bottom. And uh, bottom fish, uh, uh, reef fish, do not live on sand and mud bottom. They have to have a house just like you do. We needed the wave attenuators to stabilize the shoreline. The results of this project, it won a national award. It was a great project. It created habitat. There's space in between the wads for the turtles to approach the beach and, and climb up on the beach. The wads were uh, easy to deal with because there was a lot of control there. You can, you can line them up straight in line, uh, no problem handling them. It was just a good project. Today, artificial reef systems are designed for specific tasks such as fishing reefs and specialty habitats, oyster restoration, estuary enhancement, coral reef repair, recreational diving, snorkeling reefs, and wave attenuation. To date, the reef makers have deployed over 35,000 artificial reefs, greatly enhancing marine life while reducing shoreline erosion. I needed a structure that would stack according to depth. I was having a problem finding structures that were um, high enough for what I needed as a wave break. So I gave David a call and said, hey, I would like to use these as a breakwater, but I need you to add some things such as oyster shells and uh, um, for this restoration project. And David did a great job. He worked with me and they made the first prototype of uh, what we started using out here, uh, which I called EcoDisc, but they're ecosystems. When we take divers out, one of the nice things about the placement of the reefs is, of course, that we know right where they are. And compared to the vastness out there, you really have them li like in one location. All reefs are not built the same. The reef makers of Orange Beach, Alabama, employ four proprietary patents to build a unique reef in a class by itself. Their designs are the results of years of research and testing. They found and patented a process using Florida limestone. They found that this natural soft rock comprised of ancient clamshells is the perfect substrate for marine life. The reef makers process of attaching soft rock to the concrete structure assures durability while increasing the surface area of the reef. This then creates a natural habitat for all marine life associated with natural reefs, including burrowing animals. Their reefs start attracting marine life in days, not months. Also, their sloping designs resist scowling while enhancing marine growth. Well, these, uh, these reefs, when they, when they were first put in, I dove them immediately. They were covered with bait fish. Uh, attracted almost instantly. I don't know that the sediment even settled down and the bait fish started to find them. It's amazing is how this new limestone concept that Walter Marine has developed works. The limestone is very soft and, and, and marine habitat can stick to it and they can bore into it and the, the, the life that it produces is just amazing. We try to experiment sometimes and we can see an, a, another type of reef where it's just plain concrete. It's out there for 10 years and we can put a Walter Marine module out there for 10 months and it's better than the one that's been out there 10 years, even though it's only been out there for 10 months. You see the pyramid type, the shape reef. In his extensive research, he has utilized this Florida limestone. It's very adaptive to the marine environment. And with marine growth attaching to it, I think that was a big hit on his part. Their patented designs make a significant difference on many levels, and when combined with their experience, deliver a team of professionals ready to meet your challenges. Their deployment vessel, the Maranatha, it's a uh, one of a kind. It was specifically built to accurately place artificial reefs. 
Uh, I've watched other uh, operations where barges are being used, tractors just pushing material off and it just gets scattered everywhere and there's no accuracy. But with Walter Marine's vessel and their crane set up, they can put it within 30 feet of where you want it. We went into contract with David for him to supply the wads and, uh, and they agreed to deliver them to our site. It, it worked out great. They delivered them on the deck barges and it was just an easy project. His crew are excellent. I mean, this is what they do. Uh, it's, it's just like any professional that just does it all the time, over and over and over for years. You get all those things worked out and, and you get really good at it. Dave is, uh, Dave Walters is special with that. He really is. In recent years, they have used their experience to design a marine ecosystem that can be used for many applications. This system is perfect for wave attenuation, snorkeling reefs, oyster reef restoration, mitigation, personal dock reef, coral reef restoration, and can be used also as a research tool. Over 22 years of experience went into this patented design and it has been deployed along the coast. Today it's, there's 1,200 miles of permitted reef zone that it's off Alabama, that's the largest permitted reef zone in the world. And the big positive to that is sea organisms adhere to this limestone quicker than anything. So it, 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 uh, it creates the, the, the little fish and the bigger fish and the bigger fish a lot quicker than just having concrete. This system uses a strong piling, then a bottom washer that keeps the limestone unit off the sea floor. It is typically built to rise above the water a few feet and then secured with another washer. This design is spaced apart with three inch gaps creating an effective wave attenuation while not impacting the marine ecosystem. They have exceeded the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer requirement for permeable flushing while providing habitat for marine life. The piling mount supports the unit and prevents sinking, turning over or moving during tropical occurrences effectively stopping shoreline erosion. Behind me is one of uh, ReefMaker's wave attenuators. They uh, support the ecosystem. They have the Pearson piling system, so they're very sustainable during a hurricane. They've done a great job being uh, wave attenuators. Ecosystems are inexpensive to manufacture and easy to install. They can be adapted to fit any need by using different shapes, different sizes, offset mounting holes, pilings, or pedestal mounts. This team of professionals offers over 25 years of experience building and designing quality reefs and ecosystems. They are the leader in the industry for a reason. Yeah, I, I would recommend uh, David to anybody. I, you know, I've worked with him for 15 years. You can trust the guy. That's the biggest thing in today's society. He's as good as they get. He's going to give you a good product. One of the uh, good things about Walter Marine is the uh, variety of uh, structures that they provide. Some of the modules that we put out are the Florida Limestone Artificial Reefs, which is an eight-foot pyramid with the uh, limestone embedded. And we've also used their grouper reefs and their various versions of their ecosystems. Come next month, we're going to be using a new hybrid design they've come up with that uh, takes the grouper reef and the ecosystem and puts it together into one structure, therefore giving greater diversity. Now everything's concrete, the pyramid. And David, he builds the ultimate pyramid. And it's all about bait, little fish attract big fish. Dave Walters is a, a, a fine individual to start with. It's amazing how good his skills are as far as putting things down. Knowing him personally, it's just, it's been a real pleasure over the years. He is the reef maker. And if you need a reef for offshore or whatever, He's the guy to go to. Think of the possibilities. A snorkeling park to bring tourism. A permanent wave attenuation system, eliminating beach erosion, saving significantly on shoreline renourishment. Fishing reefs that help rebuild stock. And reefs built with all natural Florida limestone. Reef Makers is the largest reef builder in the United States for a reason. Call them today and put their experience to work for you.